Now look, Kanye West is eccentric, I grant you that. You could call him erratic, I grant you that. I compare him to Elon Musk, but look, he's interesting. He's breaking the mold. He's doing things he's being told not to do. You could even maybe call him a rebel. So watch the reaction to that. Just watch. Look at this. Look at this. I Listen, I, don't, there, I have no animosity for um, Kanye West. I'm just going to be honest, and I may get in a lot of trouble for it. I feel actually feel bad for him. What I saw was a minstrel show today. Him in front of all of these white people, mostly white people, embarrassing himself and embarrassing Americans, but mostly African Americans, because every, every one of them is sitting either at home or with their phones watching this, cringing. I couldn't even watch it. I had to turn the television off because it was so hard to watch him sitting there being used by the president of the United States, the president of the United States exploiting him and I don't mean this in a disparaging way, exploiting someone who needs help, who needs to back away from the cameras, who needs to get off stage, who needs to deal with his issues. And if anyone around him cares about him, the family that he mentioned today, or whomever, his managers, maybe some other people who are in the music business who know him, they need to grab him and snatch him up and get Kanye together because Kanye needs help. And this has nothing to do with being liberal or conservative. This is to do with honesty. And we have to stop pretending, sitting here on these CNN panels or on whatever network panels, and pretending like this is normal. And let's have this conversation about Kanye West and what he's in. A minstrel show? We really don't know what a minstrel show is in Canada in 2018. It's this, it's, it's white people doing a, a shtick, a, a vaudeville style show in blackface. That's what CNN thinks of a conservative black man, or just anyone who, who likes Trump, I guess. Here, it, it gets crazier on CNN. Kanye West is what happens when Negroes don't read. Um, and, and we have this now, and now Donald Trump is going to use it and pervert it, and he's gonna have somebody who can stand with him and take pictures. <laughs> Just looking at Scott's face. <laughs> Could you imagine anyone saying that about a black person? I mean, basically, if you're black, you have to be a Democrat or else you're crazy or a stupid N-word or just you're impossible. You don't exist. You're not real. You're an abomination of some sort. You know, people expect that if you're black, you have to be Democrat. I have, a, uh, I've, I've have conversations that basically said that welfare is the reason why a lot of black people end up being Democrat. They say, you know, first of all, it's, it, it's a limit to amount of jobs. Uh, so the, the fathers lose the jobs and they say, we'll give you more money for having more kids in your home. I hate this next reaction the most. MSNBC shaming him for talking about his feelings about a father figure. Wow. Okay, I'm doing this for everybody who's watching us who turned their volume down. You can put it back up again. That but was if you think you're bonkers. going to get uh, uh, a thoughtful play-by-play -play and political analysis, you're not, because that was an assault on our White House. We're not. We're not. Uh, uh, we're, we're, you can't analyze some of that stuff that was said. Um, as we warned you at the top, uh, there was a little bit of profanity. We there was actually more than you heard. We we were able to bleep some of it out, uh, but there was uh, some of it did make it in there. Um, that was crazy. Was that was crazy. bonkers. I mean, the things that, that uh, Kanye said. Uh, Can I go with my favorite? Yeah. How he talked about he had a lack of male role models uh, right. in his life growing up. Not and a lot reason, of male energy in his the house. The reason he, said. he was drawn to MAGA was because of the male when, power. When he put that cap on, he felt like a guy who could play catch with his his his. Because uh, he didn't have that opportunity, which was stunning. And look at this guy, this next guy. You probably don't know him. He's so obscure. Born in South Africa, mixed race parents. He now hosts a late night show, low rated in the United States. Trevor Noah is his name. He came from South Africa, but he seeks to lecture American blacks about their experience and about what they can or can't say. As you probably know by now, there was a ranting lunatic in the Oval Office today, <laughs> and he had to sit there quietly as Kanye West did this. <laughs> the White House today, a presidential sit-down like we've never seen before. Kanye West met with President Trump in the Oval Office, and he had a lot to say. I love Hillary. I love everyone, right? But the campaign, I'm with her, 
just didn't make me feel as a guy that didn't get to see my dad all the time, like a guy that could play catch with his son. It was something about when I put this hat on, it made me feel like Superman, the iPlane One. It's a hydrogen powered uh, airplane, and this is what our president should be flying in. So there's theories that there's infinite amounts of universe and there's alternate universe, because time is a myth. Would you build a trap door that if you mess up and you accidentally something happens, you fall and you end up next to the Unabomber? All we really have is today. Over and over and over again, the eternal return, the hero's journey. And Trump is on his hero's journey right now. And he might not have expected to have a crazy mother like Kanye West. I'll tell you what, that was pretty impressive. <laughs> <laughs> You know, Trump's mouth said, that was impressive, but you could see he was thinking, is it racist if I call the cops? Is that... <laughs> and I'm not a fan of this new Kanye West, but I will say I really enjoyed seeing Kanye make Trump feel the way Trump makes us feel every single day. Isn't it gross, though, that all the white-owned, white-dominated networks dispatch just their African-American hosts, or mainly their American African-American hosts, to destroy Kanye West? Hey, who's the ventriloquist's dummy now? That's an excerpt from my daily show, The Ezra Levant Show, weekdays at 8 p.m. Eastern. Every day I do a monologue, interview a guest, and read my fan mail and my hate mail. To subscribe, go to therebel.media slash shows.